not talking about why cloud you have figured out that it makes sense for you and and you are going to adopt it the question is how the question is number 1 how ready you are to fully take advantage of cloud and second to build a view of what is the path from where you are to where you should be if you were to really take advantage of this amazing opportunity that is presented in front of you okay and when we work with our clients across the globe there are some common questions or concerns that that our clients talk about and i would like to talk about what some of those are and and brilliant cloud story is really about helping our clients get answers to those questions and make the right choices and then translate those intent to reality so some of the questions are number 1 how do i optimize my infrastructure at the right level i have spikes of usage there are seasonalities there are some applications which require very high computing capability but for a certain period of time some that only are meaningful at specific instances so how we really make sure that overall infrastructure investment is right second there are many credible cloud alternatives out there today which one is right for me a few years back it was perhaps an easier choice but now you are figuring out which one should i use then there is this question of cloud is truly not as magical if i may or as fluid as we would want it to if you decide to take a call that i am going to take my complex enterprise applications and architectures and migrate to cloud there is a certain amount and it's not certain it's a significant amount of effort which is specific to that cloud investment if i make a cloud investment today would i get locked in and if tomorrow there is a better cost performance efficiency available how do i do that obviously security is a very key question i'm just moving everything that was within my uh, four walls to outside does it work well privacy compliance regulatory elements now if i'm dealing with sensitive consumer data and regulatory requirements make sure that the data should not leave the boundaries of the nation what is the meaning of this in the cloud parlance because it's 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 just a black box so when i put my applications and data in cloud is it possible for me to make sure that the data resides on a specific server as opposed to somewhere else so these are several dimensions and nuances that you need to uh, figure out and also there is always this question of performance that when we are talking about cloud kind of architectures and you have your servers your virtual instances spread across the geography going through complex network pathway different kind of servers how do you really make sure that i can really provide the end to end experience from a performance perspective that was lot more manageable when everything was inside so am i designing my applications with the right cloud performance tenets so people realize or clients have realized that while the intent is there benefit is there the journey is not as simple as asking some developer to say take this app and put it on cloud there are all these considerations that you need to deal with so we are designing we have designed our cloud practice as i said to help our clients get the right answers and approaches to each of them and how do we do it we have segregated the entire offering into three parts cloud.accelerate which is our attempt to provide set of offerings and capabilities to accelerate cloud adoption so this is about analyzing the exist existing inventory of apps and then figuring out which are more cloud ready which have characteristics that are more suitable for being deployed on the uh, cloud how do you do migration of an in premise app to a cloud app the second part of the offering is what we call cloud debt optimize you have already taken the first few steps and you have begin to realize that oh my god we have gotten reckless we thought that cloud is about fluidity and it will automatically figure out what is the right size but i i'm beginning to get sense that perhaps i'm spending more money on cloud capacity than i was spending inside so there's something wrong in the way i have sized it in the way application is performing that's where we provide capabilities to analyze what you uh, are already doing and then give you recommendation as to how you can right size it and then most clients have realized 
that it's not going to be public cloud architecture. It's going to be a, a hybrid model. Some stays inside, some stays outside. But what the heck does hybrid really mean? How much inside and how much outside and what's the right way for this to work across and how do I provide the right policies and management control philosophies on top of it? That's a complex question and we have deep competencies in helping our clients adopt hybrid architecture. And finally, what I call cloud that new. Cloud is not a static world. The change has been enormous and change would be even faster as we go ahead. So how do you adopt newer principles like cloud virtualization? How do you adopt principles like cloud brokerage? So I build an app here and tomorrow I see an opportunity. I just shift it and it starts operating in another cloud. And as I start doing more and more meaningful stuff, how do I adopt complex cloud architectures where I'm using variety of clouds, each specifically for one task. And I want to make sure everything gets orchestrated well and performs as it should be. So that's how we have structured and we are very excited. It's a hot space and we're very, very excited to work with our clients in making sure that they can execute their cloud story right.